Well, from the time I was five years old, I had always wanted to be a pilot. So coming out of ROTC at the University of Georgia, I knew that I could uh, get into flight school, and I did. Three days after I graduated, I was in flight school down at Valdosta, Georgia at Moody Air Force Base. That was a wonderful experience. It was my dream. I'd always wanted to fly. Uh, it just seemed to fit me personality-wise and values-wise and passion. Certainly, I was passionate about it. It was during the Vietnam War. I graduated and got my wings in 1966, so that's when the war was escalating. My assignment was going to be straight into Southeast Asia, into the war. But I had to go through training in the F-4 Phantom first. So that's what I did, and as quick as I got through the training, some survival training, and then to the Philippines, and over to the war. Now we had some great flying out in California in the deserts there. You know, we get up early in the morning, take off at sunrise in a flight of four and go across the deserts and near Death Valley at 520 miles an hour at 500 feet and sometimes lower. And it was just a thrilling experience uh, to be in control of that airplane and to uh, be able to do that. Uh, I wouldn't have traded places with anybody in the world. And then combat was uh, something that I adapted to quickly. Uh, I wasn't afraid. Uh, I was doing a job that I felt like I was trained to do. Uh, sometimes it was, I guess there was excitement that was, uh, made your heart pump fast. Uh, we did get shot at a lot. Uh, my airplane was hit several times before the day that I got shot down. So that was pretty common. Uh, we did lose a good many guys. And that was a reality that I knew was always there, but I never thought it would happen to me. Uh, I knew it was a possibility, but I just didn't think it would happen.